Hello, in this video I will uh, show you a trick uh, with um, Leatherman Arc. Um, I received the Leatherman Arc on my birthday on the 11th of June. I actually done a video about, uh, about it, but uh, I realized that the sound wasn't good, so I didn't publish it, published it yet. Uh, so, on the Leatherman Arc, sorry, it's a little bit modified. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people talking about uh, bottle opener, that it's useless, apart from the being a, a, a crowbar or something like that. Uh, um, they say that the bottle opener itself is not uh, very useful because the bottles now, they, are, they can be opened with the twist on this truth. Why I done this video is that um, I think the bottle opener now that it have the shape closer from uh, Victor Inox, it's actually very good for a, a task you will do more than the bottle. Uh, I do more than the bottle uh, to open jars. Yeah, so uh, the lid from the jars usually are very hard to open at the beginning because of the difference in pressure and uh, people are trying different methods knocking it on the table uh, I don't know, a lot of methods the easiest methods is uh, to just take the lip out from the jar in order to leave some air to enter the jar so you will equalize or well, bring the pressure from outside and inside very close to one to each other. Uh, I see a lot of people uh, making a, a heroic act to open it uh, by himself with the hands like a gorilla, something like that, uh, to show how manly they are. Uh, what about this? Uh, what about this for all the gorillas? Uh, that will be very hard to open. So, I will show you a trick. If you have a Leatherman arc with you, just uh, be a Homo sapiens and open it like this. You put, uh, I don't know if I put on the camera, you put the bottle opener like this and you force the lip of the, jar, of the lid, the lip of the, I'm going to put it on the camera. So the lip of the jar, you force it away from the uh, from the jar. Yeah, the lid. So if you do like this, here you go. You have the pressure equalized, and now you can open it easily. Yeah. So this is, was a fully sealed uh, sweet cherries, pitted sweet cherries. And it's very easy. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to to be a hero or something like that. You just take out your Leatherman arc, you take out the bottle opener, and it's easy. There are some instances, and that's why I bring this jar up here, when you cannot access the lip because of, uh, of the shape of the jar. When you do this, you just rotate the Leatherman until you actually get a purchase on the lip of the jar. This is fully sealed. You see, it's still sealed. So if I rotate the Leatherman until I get that, uh, that part under, under the lip of the uh, lid of the jar, yeah, until I get a purchase on that lid and force it, here you go. If you have an equalizing of the pressure, very easy, and you open it. And now you can eat nice pitted olives. So here it is. Uh, this is called the bottle opener, but if you have a little, if you are a little bit smart, you can use it for other tasks. And believe me, this task is useful every day. Uh, the other uh, the other close shape uh, can open and didn't work very well, so I didn't uh, do it. 
But I done this every time I had the Victory Nox in hand. So now you have it. Uh, I don't know if you knew this trick. If you knew it, I'm glad uh, you can write on, uh, on your comments in the comments of this video. If you didn't know, you already learned something. Uh, we will do some other tricks also on some comments. Um, I don't know if I will do a review of this because it, it will be a little bit negative. Uh, not about the tool, but uh, about the politics of Leatherman. Uh, but until then, I hope you enjoyed this trick. And we'll see you in other videos. Bye.